today is we're gonna do a practice test to get y'all ready because in order for you to graduate, you have to do your CPAT and your written. Copy that? Yeah. All right, we're gonna get a little warm up first and then we're gonna introduce our proctors and get started. Touch your toes. If you can't touch your toes, be guarded in your core. Today is just a baseline. Have fun, get your hand on some equipment, feel how heavy that vest is. You are gonna record your time. If you can't pass, that is completely okay. You've got every single specialist at your fingertips and we're gonna to cater to you and what you need to get you to pass your CPAP. Part of the requirements is you have to have a decent amount of grip and be able to carry heavy objects for a certain duration of time. It's very important to, that they become oriented to the testing. There's a lot of nuance to it. There's failing criteria. Once you get your hands on it and you feel how heavy everything is, you realize how much more work it is than what it looks like from the outside. So them getting their hands on, the orientation, the practices is it, huge. The people who don't do that struggle. Sorry, my arm's in your face. A nice big deep breath for me. Exhale. How's that feel? Have you taken a CPAP before? No? All right. Well, it's pretty self-explanatory. That first event's gonna get you. It gets everybody. You only have that one opportunity in event two to run, so if you can make up any time anywhere, you wanna do that. And any time I'm training a female, you need to understand, engage that core, and then push that power in, okay? You, you wanna have both feet on the ground, but do step into it. You will find some power. I, I work really hard to prepare myself, but it's still nothing like actually getting into it. And that Stairmaster really, really zaps your legs. I tried to run with the hose, my body said no sir, but I have to keep pushing through. All right, you guys are in the queue. How are you feeling? Pretty good, pretty good. I feel like it's an advantage. You get to see everybody's mistakes or their advantages that they use, and you're able to move forward with that. The importance of the little details is what I'm getting from it. Um, it's not really about speed and strength and things like that. It's all about the little things and staying consistent. I think you definitely get motivated watching everyone and cheering everyone on, but then as we're right here, we're like, okay, now that's going to be us that everyone's watching. So it gets, it starts getting a little nerve-wracking. Yeah, from what I can see, most of them are finishing the test. They're in better shape than uh, most people we see coming off the street, which is a good thing. This is not an easy test. If you are not prepared, you will not pass. Pretty fun, it's competitive, engaging, and uh, Damn, the incredible support team right here guiding me through everything. There's a couple of moments where I had no idea what I was doing next, but I heard my practice voice in my ear, and it's pretty much just as easy as coming in the line. Two minutes to go. go. Yeah, a minute and 29 seconds. Uh, That's awesome. All right, thank you. You actually finished it in past with one second. Oh, thank God. 